so let's look at what we have here. We have a number line across the bottom, but the only values on our number line are 0 and 1, and we have partitions between 0 and 1. That's because today we're going to learn about decimals. Now we already know that fractions can represent values between 0 and 1. So, if you look at this big rectangle, we can think of this as being a fraction bar that's been put on top of a number line. And if you look, this rectangle has been split into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces. So, we can think of this rectangle as being a fraction bar showing tenths. So, if we colour in one of those tenths, we can write that as a decimal as 0.1. So the number before the decimal point tells us how many holes we have, and we don't have any complete rectangles. Then we have a decimal point, which is like a full stop. Then the number after the decimal point always tells us how many tenths we have. We have one tenth of our fraction bar shaded, so we write that as 0.1 if we're writing it as a decimal. If we colour in another of our tenths, now we have two tenths, which is written in decimal form as 0.2. If we have three tenths, we have 0.3. You're probably getting the hang of this by now, so let's speed it up a bit. If we have four tenths, that's 0.4. Five tenths is 0.5. 6 tenths is 0 0.6, 7 tenths is 0 0.7, 8 tenths is 0 0.8, 9 tenths is 0 0.9, and then if we count on another tenth, we have 10 tenths. Now having 10 tenths is the same as having one whole. Because we've got a fraction bar with all 10 pieces shaded, we've got one whole fraction bar shaded. So we can just write 1, or we could write 1.0 to show that we have one whole and no extra tenths. So let's look at these questions. 0.2 is equal to how many tenths? Well, we know that the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have, so we have two tenths. With 0.3, we have 3 tenths, and with 0 0.6, we have 6 tenths. So, we're used to seeing from fractions, 2 tenths represented, but we can also write what's shown here as a decimal, 0 0.2. The 0 0.3, that's the same as having 3 tenths, so what's shown here can be written as a fraction or as a decimal and 0 0.6 is 6 tenths. So now, how many tenths do we have here? We have 1 tenth, and we can write that as the decimal 0 0.1. Remember, we've got 0 because we don't have any whole bars, then we have our decimal point, then the number or the digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have. And it's important to understand the digit after the decimal point only ever tells us how many tenths we have, never any other fraction parts. So, what do we have here? We have 9 tenths, which is 0 0.9. Now, at the bottom here, we have a number line. We have 0, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lines from 0 1, so each of these lines must represent 1 tenth. So the value of A is 2 tenths, or 0 0.2, because A was 1, 2 lines along. B is 5 lines along, so that's 5 tenths, or 0 0.5. And C is 9 lines along, so that's 0 0.9. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or 
Go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.